Hello, today is a small trick that actually will show you how you can check your 3D panel layout, make sure that all of your components are indeed in your schematics. Sometimes you place your panel layout and then you come back in your schematics and you adapt or you change or you even delete, right? Some of the stuff. So you have less in your schematics than you originally had positioned here on the schematics. So you no longer have these components that actually show up here in the schematics. So um, you don't need them anymore. How can we verify inside ePlan which one of these components are actually uh, here? So there's an interesting check in ePlan under the segment 26 here, under the ID or class 26, 3D mounting layout. It's the 2616. Device exists on the mounting surface without representation in schematics. So what I created is I created a new scheme that only activates this one, and I check only for this specific one. And that will basically give me a list of all the devices here, which I can synchronize, and again, I can check it out, and you can see it's there. Now, sometimes you have a few more devices like this. I can do synchronize, and you can see more than one. The problem I have is as soon as my cursor goes up there, poof, it disappears. So what I found out is that every one of these devices that has an error actually has here a message, message in message management. So what I do is I open the device navigator very quickly. And inside the device navigator, I created myself a new filter device in 3D, but not in schematics. And I use the criteria here, the message in message management. And if it's actually checked to yes, because it's the only error that I check, I get exactly these components, which are primarily, if you synchronize here, exactly the same. Here, the interesting case is that I do have a delete feature. So let me just show you again very quickly here, if I actually select the, the list uh, I have here all of them, right, very quickly. I don't have to do this. It's just to show you. So you actually saw where they are. See? Now I'm going to go in this list here. I'm going to select all of them, the ones I want. And I'm going to select them and right mouse click and hit the delete button. Check this out. The selected items will be deleted from the 3D. And now I basically have only devices that are actually in my schematic. So I can run back here to the schematics, back and forth, and they are actually linked to each other. Now, what I personally dislike about this method here is that you have the impression really that you have a lot of room and, and you do have more room, but you may still have some components and they are not really organized the way you want. So technically, remember here, in this, we still have circuit breakers that we haven't placed. Of course, I can take those. These are the remaining ones that are in the schematics, but not yet in the uh, panel layout. I can now drag and drop them in the remaining uh, holes that I created. Of course, the way that they will be aligned is maybe not exactly in line. So I personally would prefer just delete them, you know, take them off and reposition them, uh, like in this case here, if I look at the CRs, right, I would personally, that would be my personal preference, to just go here, delete them, boom, they're not deleted, remember, they are still here. And then you look at all the re references that you have, and you just go and place them and reposition them, and it will just fill out, eventually even over fill out the whole thing. You can see this one doesn't fit, but you can just then reposition it wherever you want. This is what I would recommend. But the feature is use the check here, specifically the way I showed you, and you will have a nice trick here to remember. Thank you. This was Roland from ePlan Canada. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe for the next videos. Thank you.